And instead, a lot of the projects that excite us are those that engage the beneficiaries directly because it treats them with respect and gives them the authority to be agents of their own well-being. For UAVs and humanitarian response, our global canvassing led us to the disaster-vulnerable Philippines and the local UAV group SkyEye. SkyEye company started from a group of researchers from Ateneo de Manila. They initially wanted to gather weather data and then they started to gather maps. Then we realized that it was way cheaper and easier to build our own drones. They're trying to develop ways in which drones can help improve lives and manage resources. Unlike satellites where you only get one shot a day, a UAV operator can get on the field rapidly and pinpoint trouble spots immediately using their tools. By using these maps that were generated from the drones, they can then plan out and properly manage uh, their community. The Cisco Foundation supports organizations that are focusing on really innovative technology that will push the needle in the area of disaster response or humanitarian aid. And we see unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs really playing a critical role in providing emergency relief and humanitarian aid. The Sky uses UAVs to help on disaster response and humanitarian aid. However, we would like to use UAVs more for preparedness, not just for response. Because the more information that the community has to be prepared, the better that they can protect their livelihoods. We're mapping um, the seven lakes in the province of San Pablo, Laguna. Our advocacy for the lakes to bring it back to its natural state. It's a fisher folk community. So everybody lives off the lake. So if there's no that, problem. Kami ng na ipakita ko sa kanila, hindi na nagiging maganda ang resulta kung pupunuin pa natin yan. Mang Pando will train the other local villagers in order how to use the map, how to manage people, and you know improve the quality of the lake so running. Empowering them to self-manage using yes. data yes. and reality. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can see where the potential problems can be. Mm -hmm. Whether it is or not requires more investigation, but from the map, it will help a lot if we have access to them. If you analyze your data, you can start seeing tiny interventions and can start amplifying your impact in 10%, 5%, and these percents add up. They can reach areas that are inaccessible, and they also have the technology that can allow them to fly at night through smoke, pick up heat signature of bodies and survivors and pinpoint their locations, deliver supplies. The opportunities really are endless in terms of what drones can do in responding to disasters. You have to make sure that you have safe communities. So, in both areas, LGUs or local government units can make use of the drones. One challenge could be funding, but with endowments from the national government, it's also not impossible. My team is helping put together a decision support system. The whole Philippines is actually an observatory for typhoons. Only recently are we building up our uh, network of uh, weather radar. Well, what we've done in Bonifacio, uh, we have an evacuation plan, but it is good to augment the evacuation plan with some information. We've identified the Manila Gulf as one of our evacuation areas. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would be good is to be able to find out the extent of the earthquake on, in real time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how we are affected. We are very close to an earthquake fault. Yes. Whatever information we have, we can uh, get back to the city, mm -hmm. and that, that can be then sent out by messages, Twitter, or whatnot. Yeah. Another thing we would like to do is start experimenting with SkyEye replicating its network of knowledge into other regional centers of excellence in other continents. If you're doing human-centered design right, you start by asking yourself, how will I allocate my energy, my dollars, my time in a portfolio of interventions that allow me to tackle the problem from different angles and at the same time give me back information about the problem to correct the portfolio the next round around. The key challenge is uh, getting people to appreciate that uh, UAV is just one uh, important cog in an information system. There's a lot of excitement around UAVs, but I think the reason why we're supporting this initiative is because we want to get past all of the talk and really identify use cases and ways in which drones can be used for specific events to either reduce the risk of disasters or improve response efforts. So SkyEye uses UAVs to help communities, people, and organizations make better decisions. Drones, in my experience, have been one of the most innovative, one of the most accessible tools so far in democratizing the use, collection, and dissemination of information. I can only hope that as the years go through and with everybody else's support, 
this technology would be further pushed to its limits and made more accessible to everyone who would need it. We would like to thank Instead and Cisco for having us tell our story.